Oh shit, you did it again. Killed someone because your cute little sister told you to. Now don't panic. Grab the woman's wallet and hide somewhere before the cops find you. What did you say, Ashley? You're hungry. Andrew, your sister is hungry. I don't fucking know. Come up with something. He is not food. Do not eat him. Looks like someone's got post-not clarity. You really just went ahead and killed all those people. It's not your fault though, you were manipulated. It's this creature's fault. She did it. You should fucking kill this bitch. Either way, you're innocent. You're just trapped in this abusive relationship with her. Whoa, whoa, what are you doing? Do not stick your dick in there. No, this is not what we talked about. As the game goes on, it becomes more apparent that Andrew isn't really a victim. I mean sure, his sister is a manipulative and abusive pookie bear, but he still commits crime after crime for her without showing any real remorse. In fact, he likes doing it. He likes being around Ashley. Aww. Andy is not innocent. Now I know that he is a young and stupid child, but you gotta hear me out here. His main concern after the shock of seeing Nina's dead corpse was the fact that guys and girls go to different prisons, which meant that he would be separated from Lele. He didn't care about the fact that he had just killed an innocent girl, he just didn't want to get caught by the police. He does occasionally have nightmares about Nina, and when he does, he sleeps with Ashy to calm down. But most of the time, he just makes his dreams up, which admittedly is kind of cute, but also really fucking weird. He kills his childhood friend and uses her death as an excuse to cuddle with Ashley and her awesome fat tits. It was a mistake that he even agreed to meeting up with Nina in the first place. He had multiple chances to de-escalate the situation. He could have said no to Lele, but he just made it worse because he didn't want to hurt her feelings. He's the one that suggested using a stick to keep Nina locked in a box, and Lele literally told him that he could let her out if he wanted to. Looking back, he realized that her intention wasn't even to kill her. She said that Nina could be her friend afterwards, but Andy fucked it up by actually locking her in. Years later, he's still too much of a pussy to confront his past, and gets mad when Ashley tells him that he chose to lock Nina in the box. You did, motherfucker, it was your goddamn choice. But hey, he was a kid back then. What about his behavior in the apartment as a 22-year-old adult? Mmm, doesn't taste good? I get it, they were hungry, okay? You gotta do what you gotta do to get that daily protein. You're not you when you're hungry. I wouldn't mind eating some human meat either, especially if Ashley is the one that does the cooking. I can't really blame them too much for butchering the cultist, and while Andrew once again was the first one to suggest eating him, he felt bad after doing it. Like, really bad. So bad, in fact, that he cuddled with his hot sister again. And hey, you, stop it right there. You cannot do that. No way, mister. Actually, he can. The wardens were starving them, so it kind of counts as self-defense. And he was protecting Ashley. And he doesn't regret it a bit. Oh wait, he does? He regrets not having killed him slower. It's because he kept staring at Ashley. Don't get me wrong, I wouldn't want a grown-ass man checking my sister out either, but it seems to me as if Andrew doesn't like it because he wants to be the one that fucks Ashley. And then there is this woman. Andrew kills her, not because he wanted to rape her or because she attacked him first. No, he just didn't want to leave her as a witness. And then he lies to Ashley about it. Fucking psycho kills the woman without reason and doesn't even have the balls to admit it because he doesn't want Ashley to see him for who he really is. It's all just an act that makes you believe that he is innocent when in reality he is just as fucked up as Ashley. He's just better at hiding his feelings and intentions than she is. He doesn't need an excuse to touch her lips quarter past midnight either. God damn! Yeah, he's hiding a boner under the pillow.
Yo, Ashley, I want an Ashley too. And if that's not enough proof that he is really attracted to his sister, just look at his reaction when he is confronted about it. My man goes full on defensive. But at least he understands that banging his sister is a big no-no. So he gets himself a girlfriend. Meet Julia, average 20-year-old shy girl that probably doesn't have any friends. Some people call her cute, but I call her disgusting, ew, floozy. Andrew isn't a good boyfriend. If Andrew were dating my daughter, I would have gotten my axe and bashed his motherfucking head in. Whenever Ashley needs something, he leaves Julia and goes to help her. And Ashley needs something all the time. You see, Andrew doesn't care about Julia, he only likes his sister. So he tries to make Julia resemble Ashley by asking her to tie up her hair. Anyways, Ashley obviously doesn't like Andrew having a girlfriend, so she stalks her and sends her cute voicemails. Look, I, I told you to fuck off, all that? Like, where is another you I've got a session with you, you enjoy what you The only reason he's with you is because I'm curious when he kills his Ask if you're with him, bitch. This time do it proper. Look, go slit your wrist some more. What does Andrew do about it? Absolutely nothing. He doesn't care at all. He's too busy staring at Ashley's ass. Ever wondered why Julia wears clothes with high sleeves? Well, now you know. Nina was Julia's best friend. In fact, this dumbass didn't have any other friends. Fucking loser. Then the grave siblings killed Nina and left Julia with no friends at all. So she only had Andrew. But this motherfucker doesn't even care about her. And guess what? He didn't even tell her how Nina died. He killed her only friend and then started fucking her. The only reason Andrew is in a relationship with Julia is so that he can have her mimic Ashley's style. Now Julia of course can't replace Ashley, so Andrew doesn't really care when Julia breaks up with him because he was never interested in her anyway. I forgot to mention one thing in this whole video that would have summarized it in about 20 seconds. In the decay root vision, if you let Andrew kill Ashley, he says that he'll meet her soon. Now I'm not a psychologist, but it seems to me as if Andrew will take that gun and blast his head off the second he is done killing Ashley. He depends on her just as much as she depends on him. This whole story wouldn't have happened if he learned to say no to his little sister. And then there's this dream where Andrew is a Tarsoul. Guess who's also a Tarsoul? Ashley. Not even their mother, who sold her kids to an organ harvesting scheme is a Tarsoul. They are both human pieces of trash. But they are hot.